Hello everyone, today is our topic about curtain walls. As you know we have three different types of curtain walls. So let's get started and let's see all these types. First stage what we will do. Just going some somewhere here. This is just the wall as you see. Four meters are high, but high it's no it doesn't matter. So we will go to level one on the floor plans. After that, going to work plane, choosing reference plane, and making the offset uh, around 350 millimeters. And let's choose the uh, peak line. And from the, the middle to right side, click, and from here to the right side. Okay, use, let's use this one. Space, done. For now, let's choose our curtain wall. Go to mm, build panel, choose the wall, after that properties, and let's choose curtain wall. Before we start to draw, go to edit type and make sure the attention uh, automatically m uh, that uh, is checked on. Apply, apply, and top constraint it's. Mm, up to second floor and top offset let's make it minus 200 enter so and let's draw first we're going from the middle to the middle let's go to 3d to look at and as you see this is giant hole and what we get And now, let's try the other one. Again, go to flare floor plan, level 1. Uh, let's continue our reference line. For here. And now go back to wall. And let's change to exterior glazing. Before we start drawing, let's mm, make some new parameters so go to edit type after that make sure automatically m that it's on and let's make the layout uh, maximum spacing and horizontal one also maximum spacing and uh, now it's number maximum spacing the size it's so big let's make it 450 by 450 uh, hopefully it will be enough and let's draw from the chord center uh, of uh, our wall until the reference line. Click it, go back to 3D, and as you see, we have the same thing but with the mullions. I mean, the, with divided by glazing. For now, let's go back again to floor plan and level 1 and let's try this side for that side we are again going to the wall and choose the uh, third one storefront uh, before we starting to draw let's make some new parameters so make sure again uh, automatically it is on and after that uh, vertical grid let's change from maximum spacing to fixed distance uh, let's make it 150 and for now we will on uh, mullions and for this one also mm, fix the distance 150 and make sure you click on apply okay uh, from the offset from the top side okay and let's make from the ba basement like 400 this will be enough enter Oh, sorry, escape. I'm going again. It's okay. It's here. So, uh, go to draw panel and choose peak line. Go make zoom it and make sure you click on this is a blue line on the middle core of your wall and click it. 
so as you see we get something let's see what we get yeah this is church for the type of our curtain wall uh, this is the moderns as you see okay for now we just uh, see what we can do with the basics knowledge so let's um, make our deal more hard so go to um, floor plans level one uh, go on this side for example uh, let's draw again curtain wall let's choose our curtain wall uh, storefront and now we no need to worry about uh, our um, presets because it's already what we used last time uh, let's make some offset by by eye just up to you and draw it okay for now we should go to uh, elevation view. Okay, let's create elevation view. Yeah, here is it. So, what we can do with our mm, curtain wall else? Just click on the border of our curtain wall. You can see here. Click it and go and make edit profile let's change shape of our curtain wall let's make some unix pay a uh, unique shape something like this or this uh, let's trim it and click ok now you know how we can make a unique uh, form of our curtain wall let's see one more thing just click on the border of uh, our curtain wall click on this icon and let's change the angle 45 degree and change this one to 245 for example This is warning, it's okay, because some villains cannot mm, draw properly, it's okay, just mm, skip it. So, now you can see how we can get this curtain wall. Okay, let's modify our curtain wall before we continue. Okay, for now, now let's go back to first level. Uh, let's create if you don't have like me a uh, new elevation from that side let's let's go on this side just shift it somewhere here okay uh, let's make it realistic yeah this is more better let's change our curtain wall Okay, on this stage, on Architects tab, just go to Roof and choose this button and click on Roof by Extrusion. Keep it on the pick a plane. Okay. Uh, for now, on this side, let's choose this one. We just need this face click OK go back let's make generic I already have but OK let's make again just click duplicate mm, give some name for example generic roof 1 OK edit and change on 10 millimeters OK OK uh, on this uh, on this stage uh, on the draw panel choose start and radius arc and let's draw it from this side to this okay go 3d as you see we get 
our roof. Let's make it smaller. For now, choose corner of our curtain wall, attach to the top on modify wall, and choose our um, roof. Click on it, and we get the problem. So we get problem on this side. It's okay. We can just unpin top. Again, choose our corner, touch. It's not working. Okay, just delete it. Just delete this side. Like this. This attach on this one. Delete elements. And as you see, we get the shape for the curve wall. Click on our roof, right click, hide in view, hide element. And for now, let's add here mullions. Mullion. Done. Who told it's impossible to in Revit? For this movie, it's uh, finally. Uh, we will continue in next one. So, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, leave me some comments. Uh, leave some likes. Uh, ask questions uh, or give me some advantages. And again, thank you for watching.